I am really glad those palpitations didn't turn into something worse because I really don't like my experience going to the hospital or dealing with doctors. And I know I'm not alone in this thinking. I've been reading these articles. Thank you, she's well read. <laughs> About how sometimes medical professionals don't listen to women when we talk about pain. Have you experienced this before? <laughs> and this happens because a lot of the research that was done on human bodies was done on male bodies, and they just transferred a lot of that information onto female bodies. They were like, men and women, they're the same. <laughs> Women's bodies are just like smaller and naggier. <laughs> they're attached to a ball and chain. But other than that, they're the same. Which we know is not true. There are differences. We react to medications differently. We have different symptoms for different ailments. We make sure there's no urine on the outside of those pee cups before we turn them back in. There are differences. So because a lot of doctors are looking for what they would find on a man's body, on a woman, a lot of women get sent home either misdiagnosed or undiagnosed completely because doctors don't believe what these women are telling them. Like they don't believe us. I don't know about you, but I don't know any women who are lying to go hang out at the hospital for fun. <laughs> I could read old magazines and watch Judge Judy at home. I don't need to be here for this. Also, I don't know any women who just wanna like inconvenience anyone's time or take up too much space like that. Or at least that's how I feel. I remember one time I was on the subway and I was on a packed car. It was really late at night and this drunk woman stumbled onto the train and she was looking for a seat, couldn't find one. And so she chose me. <laughs> she sat right on my lap. And what I should have said was, seats taken. <laughs> but what I actually said was nothing. <laughs> I just let her sit there. And I started justifying it to myself. I was like, you know, I've been sitting all day. <laughs> this is like strength training for me. This is good for me. And maybe she just read my nurturing vibe and that's why she chose to sit on me over everybody else in the car. Or maybe she's a witch, am I dreaming? <laughs> So that's the place I'm operating from. I don't speak up for myself when I'm supposed to. So if I actually make it to the hospital to tell someone about the pain I've been experiencing, I've probably been dead for three hours. 